Well, well, well. This is certainly something right here, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. A There is apparently going to be a Lovecraft TV show on, in the works. Yeah. Now, most of you guys know I enjoy me some H.P. Lovecraft of Cthulhu, Azathoth, and Nitharna Hotep, and all the other, you know, great characters that Ibit Lovecraft created through his works. But... I would like to, you know, I'm very interested in this. Now, of course, however, the news came from uh, Bleeding Cool, which, again, with Bleeding Cool, you have to take it with a grain of salt. Um, every time you you ever see uh, something from from them, you always have to... It, it's just like with Superhero, with the other, like, a few sites like Superhero Hype. With Bleeding Cool, it's like, mm, sometimes... Yeah, but Bleeding Cool's a little more um, accurate sometimes. They're a little more accurate, but I haven't seen this a lot in other... Uh, places, but yeah. Um, uh, not to say the, the bleeding cool is usually a little accurate. There's just some times where they're like a li they jump the gun a little time, little a little off than a few times I've seen. But they're usually pretty accurate at some points. Anyway, but again, take this with a grain of salt. So anyway, an HP Lovecraft TV series. What do I think of it? I would really like to see it. I think this would be a lot. Uh, I think this would be a lot of fun. Um, um, seeing all these characters now, the big thing is is that they did I, from the article I read. The article I read didn't really specify what the story is going to be. If it's going to be a one shot story, I mean not a one shot story, an ongoing story through the seasons, or if it's going to be an anthology series, something akin to like American Horror Story. Honestly, I'd be fine with either. I think I would be yeah, I'd be pretty cool with um with e either versions of of that kind of TV storytelling because. Here's the thing. H.P. Lovecraft has a giant universe, and this is the beautiful thing about H.P. Lovecraft's work. He wrote it in a way that people could um, expand on. That was his whole shtick. That was Lovecraft's big shtick, was that he wrote this universe. He wrote all these creatures and cults and monsters, um, and he wrote this in a way that um, you quintessentially could build further onto it, and, y you know, that was his whole game, was that he wanted to make a universe that was quintessentially a giant playground. And that's how you could kind of look at, um, the world of H.P. Lovecraft, is this one giant sandbox, um, for imagination. Uh, and it's, it's sad that, you know, no one, sometimes it's never, I don't think a lot of people get it. I don't think sometimes people get it, and it's meant to be science fiction and horror put together. I think the only few times I've seen it really work is the Cult of the Cthulhu game, the PC game. You guys remember that one? Um, and the other time I saw it really work in movie was this low-budget um, adaptation of The Whisperer in Darkness. It's a That is a great film. Um, if you guys haven't seen The Whisperer in Darkness, um, the, fi the, ad the film adaptation of the story, it's it's pretty freaking awesome. Go, go check it out. Anyway, so... The other, the major thing with this is that I think it would be cool if you did a um, if you I think I would be fine with either with each story. The thing is that you'd have to throw in um, you know this would have to be psycholo you'd have to get some major people who know who understand psychological horror at its best. You really would have to get people who really get into it because that's the core of it. You know not just because these monsters were meant to prey on people's minds and their madness. And that's the big thing with love with the with the Lovecraftian creatures was that they were you know they didn't play on scaring you to death. Well, they were more like, hey, we're gonna drive you insane and you're gonna kill yourself or die from your own madness. That's that's how it's gonna roll. So that's the thing is that you really have to find good writers who can play with that kind of psychological horror element and not make you know. Um, I've seen shows do this before, but it's you know it's very it's a very hard pro psychological horror is a really hard thing to to do, um, but if you do it right, you will mess some fuckers up. <laughs> anyway, so I think it's really cool. Um, I don't know if they're gonna mix in all the stories. Um, if they go with a se you know with a single season, it would be interesting to see all the character all the mon you know all the Lovecraftian creatures in one big setting in, like, maybe set in Innsmouth, you know, maybe set it in Innsmouth, um, have the Dagon in there, have, I don't know, or you could have it set up as, like, each season is a story from Cthulhu, like, each, yeah, like, American Horror Story, where it's its own story, 
and follows their own rules, maybe you could have each story focus on a different Lovecraftian creature. You know, one focuses on Cthulhu, another focuses on Natharnahotep, another focuses on Azathoth, another focuses on Yogsanoth, um, another focuses on um, Dagon, on the Dagon. Um, so many, you know. There, I feel like you could go either way, and it would, to and I think it would work. E I think it would work out in either form of the spectrum. That's not a sentence, but I just made it that. <laughs> yeah. So I think this is a really cool idea. I think um, if you do it right, you can really do some really scary shit. So, in that regard, I have to say, by all means, I'm looking forward to it. But again, uh, we'll see. Where this has just got announced. Um, the article I read didn't really specify on... Yeah, the article I read, keep in mind, yeah, um, the article I read didn't really specify on what exact, on who exactly was going to be a part of this. Uh, they did say Legendary TV was going to be the, the ones creating it, but they have, I don't think they've announced a showrunner. Um, again, from the article I read, I don't really think I saw a showrunner or anything of that regard in here. But you guys tell me, what do you guys think of a HP Lovecraft TV series. Do you guys like the idea? Do you guys hate the idea? And what kind of storytelling would you like to see in there? And what kind of creatures from Lovecraft stories would you like to see a part of this uh, TV series? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.